My name is Willem Mama, and I am most Kenyan. I know I am most Kenyan because I love most my country and I care most for the future of Kenya and its children. This season that is upon us is one which we can take time to reflect on present life, our future and that of generations to come. COVID-19 is ra ravaging the world. No society has been spared and clearly God is doing something new in this generation. Lives are being lost to the virus. Many families are left confused and grieving. Children are becoming orphans and grown-ups widowed. But with this pandemic has also come new hope. Hope for revival in marriages, family, and in relationships as it keeps us confined in close quarters. Let us show brotherly love to one another. It's time to fix broken relations, make peace with enemies, build and refresh friendships with spouses, partners, and children, and perhaps to try for new family additions. But there is one truth worth proclaiming. Beyond COVID-19, there is life. But we must define the quality of our life standing on more moral values we hold dear and the decisions we make for ourselves, children, community, and nation. Your life does matter most. The biggest tragedy of our time is that many Kenyans, I included, have given away our birthrights. For some unfortunate reason, we have handed our destiny to the hands of people who don't know us nor care about us. These people are called politicians and leaders we have appointed into the positions of authority. Understandably, we are to blame and to take responsibility for the troubles we find as a nation. These leaders have governed us to the benefit of a few, yet social justice dictates that every Kenyan is entitled to wealth opportunity and privilege. And when these leaders haven't been satisfied by what we the people say they should claim for remuneration, they have either engaged or entertained corrupt practices. And the result of this is that the less advantaged Kenyans are forced to carry the burden and eventually follow suit, taking every opportunity to plunder the country's resources to the extent that corruption has become an institution on its own. Well, I suppose that many of you listening are asking, so what's new? We have heard a lot of political rhetoric, but not today. In fact, never on this platform. I am here to advance a social transformation agenda. The bad politics in our country is as a result of a broken society. Kenya has become rotten at the core. We are a people at war with each other, detached of moral values. We prey on the blood of our neighbors and are careless for the generous generation behind us. We have allowed ourselves to be robbed of our birthrights. And as a result, the destiny of this country looks bleak. So then what's new? Well, the new thing is the appreciation that social reform has to proceed over political reform. In order for us to secure a future prayed in our national anthem. And I'll repeat, the new thing is the appreciation that social reform has to take precedence over political reform in order for us to secure a future prayed in our national anthem. Therefore, my friends, to be a safe and prosperous nation, our social character needs transformation. The movement for social transformation intends to focus on the next crop of leadership men and women currently aged between 20 and 40 years. The world calls them millennials. For those in the 50s and beyond, time is up. 
It's our younger generation that we must place our hopes for a better Kenya. This requires deliberate action on our part. So I beg to ask, are you 100% confident that the Kenya you are passing down to your children is one that guarantees them hope of a better future? Or do you have reservations? I, and certainly many other Kenyans, want to be satisfied that in our season of strength, we do everything within our power to ensure that Kenya, the Kenya we leave to our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren is a Kenya that is a God-fearing nation with servant leadership, a country free of corruption, with a healthy, purposeful, hardworking, and prosperous citizenry, that stands up for social justice and are mindful to preserve our culture, heritage, environment for the good of generations that follow. Under the current crop of leaders, social degradation will continue. It is pertinent that every sound-minded Kenyan takes a stand to wrestle free their birthrights from self-centered leaders and then to prepare the leaders of tomorrow for servant leadership founded on good moral values riding on the back of social justice. That therefore is the purpose of the movement for social transformation, a social reform agenda that requires a political platform to exact necessary transformation to ensure sustainable, social economic prosperity for all Kenyans, you included. From this short address, perhaps answering the next questions will help you know where you fit in the conversation moving on. One, are you orchestrating the social problems facing Kenyans? Are you part of the problem? Or two, are you holding communities hostage in this status quo? meaning that you condone the corruption, you are engaged in corruption, you condone the, the social injustices that are upon the people, you like the status quo. Or three, are you intentional in taking action to fix the problems of social injustice? Are you part of the solution? Are you deliberate? Or are you sitting in front of a, of a computer are you sending a Facebook message and thinking that is enough? Are you intentional? Or four, this fourth category, are you blown about from left to right because you don't have a stand on social justice? Where do you fit in the conversation? Part of the problem or part of the solution? Or are you a sitting duck? In my next broadcast, I'll define a few of the birthrights that we have handed over to the past and the current crop of leaders and how we can and must reclaim these rights for the sake of our children and country. I look forward to engage with you on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter handles. Thank you for watching and listening. God bless you. Stay home and stay safe. My name is William Omamo. I approve this message and I am most Kenyan. Good day.